Let's talk about setting up an arterial line with a vamp. If you don't know what a vamp system is, um, it's pretty similar to the arterial line tubing that you would have connected to your arterial line. However, you have this little bad boy. This is what we call the vamp in the tubing. The vamp is really cool because it allows us to do in-line blood draws without having to waste any of the patient's blood. So really quickly, before I talk about how we set it up, when you're drawing blood with a vamp, what you're going to do is you're going to pull this little accordion back. You kind of pinch it and pull it up and it's going to pull, that suction is kind of going to pull the patient's blood from the patient up to the vamp and you wait until there's blood in this little chamber here and then you're going to turn your stopcock off so that way when you're drawing your sample of blood it's not drawing it from the saline side it's drawing it from the patient side and once after you're done with your sample you can go ahead and turn the stopcock back so it's flush with the line go ahead and push that accordion down and then pull your little pigtail or flush your line so that way the blood is all the way cleared through the tubing but it allows us to have like an inline waste but we're not actually wasting, if that makes sense. So when you're setting up your vamp system, it's very similar to how you would set up your traditional arterial line tubing. Here's arterial line tubing without the vamp, but regardless, the setup is pretty much identical. You're gonna go ahead and spike your saline bag, make sure all the air is out of that saline bag, and you're gonna prime the entire line. Now, when you're priming with a vamp, this little vamp comes open when it is in the packaging. And so it's going to fill this whole thing with saline, but there's also going to be a little air in it. So once you prime the whole thing, go ahead and clamp, squish this vamp system back down to kind of push that excess saline out and air that was in here. Double check that there's no air bubbles or anything like that. And then you can go ahead and pump up your pressure bag to 300 millimeters of mercury or when that little pressure gauge turns green. Once you're all primed and you got their pressure bag pumped up, you're gonna go ahead and connect the end of your tubing to your arterial line. You can then take your pressure cable and put your little pressure cable plugged into there. Put your transducer at the level of the flebostatic access. Hopefully you're seeing a waveform up on your monitor, but it probably is gonna have little question marks because you haven't zeroed it yet. So go ahead and zero your line and you should have your arterial line all ready to go and set up. I always perform a square wave test to make sure I have an optimally damped arterial line waveform. And if that's all good, then my reading should theoretically be pretty accurate. Hopefully that answered your question. Let me know if you have any more and I'm happy to talk more about it.